ladies and gentlemen, people of the jury, my boy, CJ the champ, just 11 minutes ago, dropped his sequel to Ryuga, A Legacy of Greatness. So today, we are going to be jumping right into it. Uh, this was not actually expected. It was not on the docket for the stream today, but it is something we are covering uh, right now. We already watched the first part, but you don't need to watch the first part to enjoy the second part. You see, Ryuga from Beyblade is kind of a badass. He's pretty great. A lot of people have been hating that I've been saying that Kaiba is a bigger goat than him. So to prove my F Kaiba being a goatness, I messaged CJ DeChamp to ask him when he's making a Kaiba video. And his response was, Bro, it's been a long time since I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! And I rewatch an entire anime with notes and shit b to work on my videos. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is very long. <laughs> I was like, mm, I see. I see. He said, oh, if I get around to it, I'll get around to it. I would love to. I want to get around to it. But uh, no promises as to when exactly. But basically, uh, he said, I'll probably end up rewatching the whole thing to make that Kaiba video. And then he sent me a bunch of skull emojis. So anyone that says that is based in my book. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ryuga. Ryuga. So then the king came out. So you would have to think. This man is the king of his right. bro's, bro's the king. He's definitely going to beat Ryuga. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. <laughs> saw that one coming. I, I was like, what? There's no way Ryuga was gonna actually- This is trash! Uh, that's crazy. I didn't even know that uh, Beyblade had Ryuga as like such a massively recurring character that you just went around cooking everyone. Let's go! And ladies and gentlemen, we already know what's up. After the right. longest exhibit eight in round table history oh and with a God. whopping score of 161, it is time- <laughs> Dude, I love when people do that. Well, one of my favorite gimmicks is, uh, one of my favorite T stupid jokes that a lot of people do it but every time someone does it it literally just makes me happy for no reason is arbitrary scoring system eight in round table history and with a whopping score of 161 now what the fuck does that mean <laughs> you click on this video you get it to this point of the video what the fuck does that even mean <laughs> one it is time to submit the legacy of saying kaiba would have more I would have at least like 9,000. Am I just saying that to annoy the people in my comment section? Yes. The greatest nigga to ever wield a spinning top. So y'all already know we got all the rest of the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to rock and roll. <laughs> the ranking system. I did. I love this man so much. So without further ado, Exhibit B. All right, let's go, baby. Y'all yeah, ready, ladies and gentlemen? I'm ready. I now present to you Exhibit B. Return of the GOAT. <laughs> Now, as we know, Ryuga suffered the first loss of his career off of some bush. Oh shit, like every, like every good villain. Dude, this is why I literally have an entire series covering overpowered characters done right. Because it is so hard to beat overpowered characters appropriately. Every time an overpowered character gets beaten, it always, almost always feels like bullshit. Like, dude, I, I still think Madara is my go-to, goaded example of an overpowered character. From the buildup to the introduction to all that stuff, goaded, overpowered character. Bro got beaten by some bullshit. It's every single time. It's never satisfying. And that's why you have to watch my uh, overpowered done right videos. Just saying. Because we know in anime, the power of friendship is undefeated. So you would have to think, usually after a main antagonist loses, they kind of fall off. I mean, it happens to the best of them. It's true. But what main antagonist loses and literally comes back at full force? Wait, what? That's a really good point. Oh my God. Like, dude, even uh, like most of the time, even when they come, like Frieza, okay? Frieza gets beaten. He comes back a couple of times, but he never actually comes back as like the major threat, right? The major threat is always someone else. But Ryuga? Oh, shit. That's After this great. man lost, this man was straight back to the lab in a boiling hot volcano. And bro was serious. Frieza was a bad example. He comes back as Gold Frieza and, and Black Frieza and all that stuff. But like, let's be real here. We still remember him as his his old days Frieza. It's about never getting hoed ever again. Yeah. This man trained his ass off, overcame the dark power, and unlocked whatever the fuck that means. Meteo El Drago. <laughs> Yo! It's like, it's like in One Piece. Except instead of a D as a middle name, they have L as a middle name. <laughs> no. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> Nobody was f***ing with this. I'ma just go ahead and tell you. Bro did the thing, got stronger, and turned his thing into a stronger thing. That now. So now we move. Bro just casually went down to the pits of Mount Doom to make the one Beyblade to rule them all. On to Italy. And we have our sights set again on Subasa. Now we all remember that bro got boomed yeah. and completely annihilated at Battleblade. My favorite part was when he got annihilated by Ryuga. But get this. 
Bro did not just get put in a coma. No, this brother got immense PTSD. The dark power literally infected bro. You know what? This is a whole point, bro. He literally trans- Come on, bro. What the hell is transmutating disease plus one? What the hell, man? He's mutated a whole disease to this nigga. So infected Subasa ends up pulling up on Team Excalibur and is straight up trying to murder them. But while they're fighting, they end up hearing something in the distance. It's oh, the goat! Did you all hear that? Oh my god, I love him! I love him! Oh, it's the goat! And look at this nigga. This nigga is walking in with a meteor shower! <laughs> for no reason! Literally for no reason! Oh my god, that's amazing! And bro wasn't even done. He summoned his bay as a meteor and just blew up the whole area. Man. Bro literally got Madara energy coming out of his ass right now. Making a massive crater. This right here might be one of the greatest entrances of all time. Yeah, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. That is Kaiba level over the top shenanigans. And you know what you're thinking, but Kaiba never summoned meteors. True. But Kaiba has a jet in the shape of a blue eyes white dragon. Okay, Kaiba is what Elon Musk wishes he could be. But we ain't gonna forget the fact though that that is a massive amount of environmental oh, damage. Oh, come on, man. You're just, that's not even fair. You can't give him points for that. My nigga. Like this man was this close to probably starting the world's largest wildfire. But look at him, bro did not come to play game. That's actually insane though. It's like, why? Man is literally coming with a dreidel, okay? And, and he just summons down a literal meteor shower. Dude immediately just starts to wreak havoc and sends these two flying. And he wasn't even done with what him bro said, ah, El Draco, cut that nigga. And bro right here yeah, gets a boom. He and the fact that he just watched these two with ease is just wild. Because Team Excalibur are basically the Euro League champions. And he. Yeah, bro, but they're the Euro League champions. Like, this is an anime, okay? Like, they're the Euro League champions. Watch them in under 30 seconds. So Julian comes to save his teammates from getting thrashed anymore. And the thing yeah, is. As far as villain entrances go, I think that anime has it has it absolutely peak i don't think there's any other medium that does villain entrances like anime right yuga just walking in as meteors are falling around him uh madara just looking down at the alliance freaking freaking akashi from kuroko no basket okay it's a basketball anime it is literally an anime about basketball it starts off with akashi basically looking at the main character and saying kneel before your emperor and forcing into his knees, literal chills. Julian's bay has reverse rotation as well. And also not to mention this nigga is a elegant asshole. So Ryuga looked at oh, bro man. and said, ah, that's a nice toy you got there, buddy. Dude, this is just Kaiba versus Siegfried all over again. I can't believe it. I can't stop seeing the parallels. Where'd you get that piece of shit from, Timo? Damn, damn. So Ryuga retracts his bay. And before he leaves, he tells him, remember this, you pompous ass. There can only be one. One reverse rotation bay in this world, and it belongs to me, the goat! God damn. So after <laughs> just the goat sound effects in the background, bro needs to become. Dude, with all the localizing animation drama that's been going on lately of anime studios changing anime dubs to fit, like, the modern climate, can we get CJ to champ on this shit? Can we get him to just dub every anime, put in random sound effects? <laughs> no, please, please. After that confrontation, this man travels to America, and he's somewhere. I want to see every anime villain just calling people the N-word. Okay, that sounded really wrong. It's in the Grand Canyon. So these soldiers come up and tell them, freeze, put your hands in the motherfucking air or we gonna boom your shit, nigga. And they, that's exactly what I'm saying. Got the red dot sights, the lasers and everything. They look like they're really about to kill this man. Yeah, but don't worry, he has a dreidel. But this confrontation is when Ryuga showed that he is on a different level yeah, than bro. everybody else. I kid you not, this man laughed and threw out his bay with his bare hands. Holy is this nigga serious? This Wait. nigga- That's crazy, what the frick? Okay, that, that's insane. Like, obviously someone had to do that at some point in Beyblade history, but obviously, of course it was him. Holy crap. Don't even need the launcher no more. And obviously the soldiers are pissed. Nigga, this is premium disrespect. This is the equivalent <laughs> to bringing a knife to a gunfight. Dude, you know what it's equivalent to? It's equivalent to this. It's been a while, Seto-sama. Oh. <laughs> oh god, it's a man with a gun. That's crazy. It's literally to his head. It's right to his head. 
ただで済むと思うなよ。タレンキング。タレンキング。ストリアルイリュージョン社の指示に従っているだけです。<笑>さあ、oh, so、ミスター・ペガサスの城へご案内しましょう。Oh, it's over. 俺がそんな脅しに乗るとは。What's he gonna do? Like, yeah. those guys that were facing Ryuga, they were like a solid 20 feet away from him. This gun is to his temple. Yeah, they were like a solid 20 feet away from him. This gun is to his temple. He's gone. He's gone, though. What's he gonna do? Is he smirking? Is he smirking? だとおっしゃるなら、残念ながら引き金を引かざるを得ませんな。試してみるか。Oh, oh, oh shit. It's over. He's gonna die. He's pulling the trigger. Oh my god, does it get any better than that? No! The answer is no. I don't even need to wait for you. I do not need to wait for. Look, bro. So they end up shooting at him, and their base k e e p on hitting his, but all that is just making El Drago rotate even faster, and their impending doom more imminent. Oh, so yeah, it was over for them. All five of them get f l o r e d Oh my god, he killed them! He killed them! All right,、uh, listen, I'm obviously making all these memes, but holy shit. Yeah, them boys are dead, let's be honest. Them niggas got、yeah. baked. But a man in a hood ends up stopping his、oh、attack.、God. And it is none other than. Zesty Jack! <laughs> wow, that's crazy! I've never watched Beyblade. So Jack ends up taking Ryuga to Hades City and brings him to HD Academy, which is. Hey. These nuts fit on your face? Basically, a developmental academy for bladers. And it is ran by none other than Dr. Ziggurat. So, Ryuga mad as hell, cause he came for the smoke and they wasted his time. And also trying to do experiments on El Drago. Look at him, bro, trying to kill Jack. Bro, it's lucky he was behind bulletproof glass.、So、bro, are you telling me that his Beyblade can't break glass? Bro is a fraud. A fraud, I tell you. You guys better do something soon or. Or what? Or you're both in trouble. Oh no. It's too late now. What's gonna happen?、Huh? It's literally、huh. over. Oh, a helicopter. It's one of Kaiba's choppers. But who's flying that thing? No one. It's remote control. That's crazy. Look at h i Where'd that come from?、Uh, I warned you. Time to drop the crate! Not if I stop you first, Rare Hunter. Say hello to my blue eyes, white dragon. Oh, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna summon、Take、blue eyes? This. No, he's not. He is literally、Big、Batman.、Mistake. Look at him holding his hand like the goons in Batman. He is literally Batman. I'm just saying. Not really. The ghost. The ghost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just such a hater. I have to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just annoying the people in my comments at this point. <laughs> Bro, be. <laughs> Dude, people in the comments、uh, were so upset that I kept comparing him to Kaiba, so I'm just doing it more just to spite them. <laughs> Kaiba!、Oh. They end up making him fight Zio, who is a literal bum、oh, compared、dude. to Ryuga.、Bro. So they get to letting it rip, and Ryuga's already pushing them back. But to be fair, Ryuga did have to come、you、over adversity in this fight. Because this man's bay was built so fucking awkward. Because he had this fat ass spinner stem. I don't know what the fuck、Bruh. that is, but it's fat as shit. And this man Zio talking shit too. Bro saying, ha, you can't beat、no. my big sis. Not a chance in hell. Oh my, are you really trying to talk shit to this man? He had a meteor shower entrance. It's over. Like, bro, do you know who the f you're going against? Oh, Dylan Brooks ass nigga. So it took like a good minute for Ryuga to read, bro. Then he told him, nigga, when my name c o m e up, respect it. Huh? Stop playing with my name. I ain't said no more. So this man pulled out his new special move,、oh. and instead of shooting Gala Guns,、oh, bro's oh, now shooting c r u s o n s and b l o w What the fuck, man? He, like, he, this guy has a top, and he just drops meteors wherever he goes. That's insanely gangster. Blows this nigga's bay up and pins it in the ground. Nigga out here disrespecting the goat. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is, little bro? Honestly,、so、what the frick, man? That was embarrassing. That was humiliating. This man, Dr. Ziggurat, ends up trying to trap this man, Ryuga, but they just pissed off Bro even more. Nigga said, Get me the fuck out this musty ass room. So Bro blows a hole in the building to make his escape. But this man, Dr. Ziggurat, was on straight dick. Bro was like, Oh, I need that man. <laughs> What is that expression? Escape. But this man, Dr. Ziggurat, was on straight dick. That is the greatest expression I've ever heard in my entire life. I don't know how I've never heard it before, but, it, it, but, but that's the greatest thing ever. Bro was like, Oh, I need. These are spinning tops, by the way. That man for my world domination. So let. Dude, I love how people think they can manipulate this man. I love how people are out there, they think they can manipulate this guy. 
Th this dude, this goat, he's so strong, and they're just like, mm, how can I manipulate and control him? This is Niji Sanji trying to say, oh, wow. I think I can control this person's soul. Later on that day, this man sends Zio and like eight soldiers to jump him in the park. And Ryuga looks completely dumb, bro told him. <sighs> can you niggas get off my dick? I can't even breathe. So all the soldiers end up shooting at him, but Ryuga hit the shadur on their ass. Bro said, look at the ice on my wrist, nigga, and blows them all up. He just murdered all of the, they're all dead now because this guy with the spinning top is too OP. And this man just caught another eight bodies. He's literally out here just committing mass murder. Holy shit, bro. What the freak? That's crazy. Them boys ain't breathing. Hey, I mean, at least the family gonna have the full body intact for the funeral. Unlike <laughs> oh, that other God. nigga from the training regiment. Ah! <laughs> so now we move on to the World Championship. And at the moment, Team Japan is cooked. Masamune got his arm broke. Tsubasa and you got boomed before the tournament even started. So they had this man Jenga about to carry the whole team. So Jenga would have to face Zesty Jack next. Why does he call Why does he do that every time? But a meteor ends up coming in, and this man Ryuga ends up pulling up. Oh. No! I actually feel Dude so is like a walking dose of PTSD for every single person in the world. He's just casually walking around, bro. <laughs> casually walking around as a walking reminder of everyone's failures. So bad for her. She really got PTSD from this nigga. Bro said, y'all gonna have the world championship without me? <laughs> Bitch, sub me in. Oh. Dude, that's crazy. It's like, I don't need no invite. Everyone in the room, trauma unlocked. Took this blue lipstick zesty motherfucker in a heartbeat. So Ryuga and Jack end up starting to fight. And this man, Jack, is batshit crazy. Not even gonna lie to you. This man was like, Oh, I can't wait to turn you into a work of art. Okay, anyone that says that in anime, just lock them right up. Literally everyone. Every time someone in anime says art, you know that they are into some sick fucking shit. Now, art has become an anime catch-all excuse for fucking nutcases. I don't know how it happened, but it's everywhere now. You've got my creative juices running, my nigga. I don't know, man. Uh, he's got my juices running, but not the same kinds of juices. This nigga is crazy. So this man Jack pulls out his peacock and shoots- No way they gave the gay clown guy the cock Beyblade. They ain't no way. Can attack at him, but Ryuga stood there unfazed, and El Drago completely ate Bro. it. But Jack did not let off the pressure. Bro just started to push Ryuga while he was carving his art in the stadium. Like, look, Bro drew a big missed opportunity. I'm just saying that could have been a glorious dong. Like, fuck wrong with this nigga? So this man tries to finish his work of art by trying to drill El Drago into the eye. And it looks like he almost had this man. El oh Drago was slowing down. It and almost it stops spinning. Everything. But Ryuga had this man right where he wanted him. El Drago just starts going berserk. Ryuga tells him he wasn't even trying the whole fight. It was hilarious that they're trying, right? Like, they're literally playing tops here. Like, he throws the top into the stage, and one top hits the other top, and he's like, huh, I wasn't even trying until now. I was only using 17% of my power. So, yeah, it was time to pack up Zesty Jack. So, bro charges up his Dragon Emperor Supreme Flight and strangles the fuck out of his peacock and incinerates it. Because uh, tops. And to finish off that man's work of art, Ryuga shot that man's bay into the peacock's eye. And this man Jack lost his bro, mind, bro. That is so dope. Literally gave him the same goddamn treatment that he was. Oh, that's so perfect. It was like, no, no, my it is impossible. My blade was not supposed to be in the eye of the cock. That's insanity. No. Convert my Mona Lisa. <laughs> but this man Ryuga was not done. He looked at what? this man, Dr. Ziggurat, looking all safe and shit in his skybox, and shoot his bay and scar him with the glass. This man Ryuga told. Him, get off my dick, nigga. Wow. Oh my god, dude knows how to make a statement. And after this, they won the tournament. So Ryuga technically is now the world champion. Or Wait, what? He actually was became the world champion at the end? Just walked in the middle of the championships and left with a ring. So after That's insane. There was a whole ass tournament going on. He walks in uninvited and walks away with the win. Oh my lord, that's insane. For the world championships. Dr. Ziggurat basically reveals to the entire world that he's a terrorist. And Haiti City is a literal flying nuke. In this okay, Kaiba has one of those, and... 
and is a whole arms dealer. He's trying to sell it to the country with the highest bid. And come on, we know who's gonna buy that. America! America! America. Yeah. So while Haiti City is out oh here floating God. and is about to terrorize the world, right? You good? Wait, he just stole the whole fucking city. That's insane, dude. I, this city became a Beyblade. If this ends up blading and spinning around, I'm gonna lose my mind. But dude, that's actually insane. The, uh, the, uh, the only anime can take like a concept like spinning tops and turn it into fucking flying city arms dealer nuclear terrorist and the the dragon ass meteor fucker is just looking at it from the distance and my god this has got to be this man's wildest feet this man right you could said fuck you no, fuck don't jump on no way he jumps on he fucking nuke and fuck skypea because i'm about to make this bitch atlantis so this man shoots at a drago and blows up the damn core and look at this nigga ziggurat Ooh, what was that? Emergency, sir. Somebody has blown up the fucking island. We are about to sink. And look at El Drago. It literally just ripped through the entire city. And that hole just started going down. It was GG's for that whole city. They got what? The fuck that I just watched. Kaiba got nothing on this. Lucky they even landed that hole to get everybody off the island. But yeah, technically, bro sunk this whole island. So this is property damage to the absolute max. This ain't no damn stadium. This is a whole city. That's a whole 50 points, bro. What the frick? That's insanity. It wasn't Kaiba giving all the most expensive cards in the world to someone just so he could beat him. But like, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane. He just blew up the city because he was annoyed at that guy. It wasn't for any form of crazy ideological moment. It wasn't because he had some sort of like major enemy. It was like, you are annoying and now I will blow up your city. Exhibit C. Doesn't stop. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you our final exhibit, a legacy of greatness. We now set our sights right, to a go. remote village on a island. That has experienced. I love, how that, I, I love when things start like that. The recent events of terror. As Jenga and his friends are searching for legendary bladers, they come across this man that recounts what happened to his village. In his oh, words, no. he states, oh, "About no. two weeks ago, no. a man came here looking to infiltrate our sacred ground. He started to speak, but none of us could understand him. Uh, he was too busy speaking goat." Uh, beg your pardon. But then our village elder ended up realizing that he was speaking the ancient language <laughs> of, of the goat. goat. Oh, geez. He then forced himself into our ancient ground. And now the volcano that we thought he forced himself into our hole was asleep for years started to awake again. We angered the dragon god. So we got on our knees and glazed him for forgiveness. You're telling me this motherfucker took over a religion it literally that's insane what the frick brother i am lost for words so yeah if you can't tell who this is by the villagers recount it is most definitely ryuga no, I they was gonna be lord farquhar that was a surprise they thought this man was a literal god like they was on their knees glazing oh glorious king ryuga please spare us bro i cannot believe this man took over a religion oh yo this is ridiculous first of all he gets a point for breaking and entering on a sacred ground and secondly another one for terrorizing these villagers and basically having them in a hostage situation so he that's actually insane that's actually crazy i mean becoming a god is pretty awesome wouldn't you say i would say it's almost as awesome as when you sacrifice god for your wife <laughs> just listen to this music bro What are these visions? I'll just get you. What the hell do you want, bro? I'm sick of this guy. Oh, tell him. What are you doing? What are you doing? You ready? Are you ready? That's right. I'll sacrifice God! So, Does it not get more awesome than this? Dude, 
you don't understand how insane this scene is. She has the, the person he's dueling has the ability to see the future. And she knew in the future he would summon God and attack with it, which was her whole plan. Okay. He beat his destiny, bro. He sacrificed God. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, what the frick? I saw the future. I literally saw this happen. And it was just to summon his waifu. <laughs> and of course he wins because he's the goat of goats. I'm just saying, I take it all back. Ryuga, you're awesome. Kaiba, you were forever my king. Kyoya and Binke end up climbing the volcano and finding him. And obviously Kyoya, being the smoke demon he is, decided he wanted his rematch. That ass kicking from last time wasn't enough. So oh, they start oh, oh, oh. fighting and it is just absolute chaos. But Virgin antagonist, I will defeat God. Chad antagonist, I will sacrifice God, true. Ryuga is going absolutely berserk. And not gonna lie, you can probably guess what happened after this. Kiyoya. I'm gonna guess that Ryuga kicks his ass. Just started pressuring him for a bit, but that shit ain't working. Because Ryuga Tada has a new bay again. El Drago destruct. No, come on, that dude is literally leveling faster than Sung Jin Woo right now. So Kiyoya gets absolutely blasted. Like this man got cooked. Dude, they're, Ryu bla they're Beyblading in a volcano. This is crazy. Ryuga made this man unconscious again. And of course, here come Binke. Ah, my glorious Pokemon. Oh, dude, stop it. Kiyoya. So after Kiyoya gets boomed, guess who's next up on the list? Oh, Jinka. Bro was trying to. Dude, it's the it's the actual rematch of the main character versus him. They're tied one to one right now. This is for all the sauce. Convinced Ryuga to join them on the quest, but this man did not care at all. Bro said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Whip out your bay and show me that you ain't a fraud, nigga." So they start fighting, and Jinka starts getting blasted. Dude. Bro held nothing back against this nigga. He just kept on yapping at him. Come on, pussy boy. Show me that that ring Bro, that you want against me wasn't no. some Mickey shit. So Jinka. Jinka starts pushing back, but Ryuga said, no, 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 not today. Oh so El Drago swaps modes, says, get the fuck off me. Then Ryuga said, to hell with it, and blows up the volcano. I'm literally on my knees right now. I am on my knees, knees simpering. Get the fuck Hearing off the top. Oh, me. Then look at the little top, the way it fell to the side. Ryuga said, to hell with it, and blows up the volcano. He blew up a volcano while playing with tops. Dude. And there it is, game set. The main character was cooked. And Ryuga did what many other oh, characters Lord. couldn't. Take the set over the main character. Yo, true! True! Kaiba didn't do that. And look at him talking ish. Ha! I knew you were a fraud! That fucking Mickey ring, your friends weren't here to save you this time, buddy. So right before he's about to leave, this other little boy trying to fight him. <laughs> oh. No, no, please, please. I'm sorry, I'm already laughing, but this- Dude, he's just gonna catch it with his bare hands. This shit is embarrassing. This little nigga got his shit rocked. Never mind. He just murdered a child. Get up. Bro, tries to get up with a whole power up and everything. But Ryuga looked at blood and said, Man, nigga, fuck out my face. And incinerates this little nigga. Dude, you did not need to do that. Hey, man, I guess at oh least he tried. <laughs> Oh so my after God, Ryuga dude. just casually bodied the main cast, later on, this man heads to the Sahara Desert to a village that's having this annual tournament. So here's the announcer hyping up their strongest dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we all love him and know him. Our village's strongest what man. That hairstyle. And Sir Nando. <laughs> He's going to eat some major ass in a second, isn't he? And his opponent, a random traveler that just came here a day ago. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is that who I think it is? Oh my god, it's insane. This man's entrances are actually fire every time. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, it's the GOAT! And this whole tournament was just cooked. The strongest dude in the village, one shot. He's literally a world champion. He just goes to random villages now to flex on him, to remind them of who their leader is. This big ass Sam Sulek built nigga got boomed. And he wasn't the only one, because every other opponent got one shotted. Nobody stood a chance. So then Bruh, the king came oh, out. No, oh, no, why are they doing this? Why? We know it's over. So you would have to think this man is. Dude, why is he smiling? You are up against the goat. This is Magnus Carlson going up to a high school chess club. 
okay? And being like, we'll see how this goes. King of his village. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all need to hold a new election after that one. So then the final opponent of this tournament- oh, Literally Yoda shows up. They had to start bringing in characters from alternate storylines and universes to face this guy. Was Kenta in his what the fuck? big ass soccer ball ass head. Every time I see this little nigga with his big ass head, I just wanna punt him. And yeah, uh, I ain't even gonna waste no time on this. Kenta joins the rest of the main cast. Ooh, gets made a statistic. No! You used to be a person, and now you're a statistic. Oh. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. On this man's record. So after Kenta got boomed, he ended up following Ryuga, trying to go on a journey of self-discovery. And while they on the middle of their journey, what? they end up getting confronted by a tiger. But this man, Ryuga, was not. Maybe a tiger. But I am the dragon. Phased. Bro walks up and mean mugs the tiger. He had bro shook. Dude, what? What? He doesn't even use his Beyblade or his weapon or anything. He just, just stares it down. Oh my fucking god, dude. And look at Tony the tiger making the right decision to run away and live another. Dude has his own literal carry around Mokuba on the side and everything now. Oh, that's crazy. Not be eating no more Frosted Flakes. His ass would have became a pelt. So after this, Ryuka ends up entering another battle royale. Dude has to stop doing this. He's just going around there reminding people who their god is. That's actually crazy. He's not even, this This isn't even training. Just his average spiel. Every once in a while, he has to go around and remind people, if ask people if they prayed today. Hello, sir. Did you pray today? Because apparently there's a legendary blader at the top of the tower. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. So it starts, and while everybody's running, this man doesn't even move. Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly! So he waits for like a good 10 minutes. Bro. So when the final 11 are up here battling, this man decides to blow a ah! hole in the tower. He doesn't join tournaments to win them anymore. He joins tournaments just to blow up all the characters. And just knock out all 11. He's just 100%ing the game. No, of them. But he wasn't done yet. He had to face Subasa in the finals. And I'm not going to lie to you. This one might be worse than the last time they fought. This shit lasted for one minute tops. This man pulled tops. Sorry, sorry. Out a new special move and sends his base. Why does he need new special moves? He just keeps coming up with new attack. Why even? Bro's been doing it well until now. He's just out here griefing on a worldwide scale with a new move for every power. Dude is playing the game on like Elden Ring Nuzlocke speedrun rules where you can only use one weapon per boss. All right, dude is coming up with YouTube challenge runs at this point. To the mountains. Subasa. He's just Bro, like, oh, I have to walk there to get my Beyblade now. It's like, oh, no, no way I'm getting that back. Man, I found out to my knees when the law came. So after right, he dude. sent Subasa's bay to Kingdom Come and made him take a hike, he tells the legendary blader to bring your ass out here. So Bro comes out and he's like, wait. Please, please, please. I, I, I'm not no legendary blader, bro. I, 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 I'm a fraud. Is this nigga serious? So this man Ryuga was pissed oh off. Bro God. went over to his bay and stepped on it. And Blood said, I don't like my time to be wasted, nigga. And this man just destroys the entire tower. I mean, this guy is the Beyblade version of the Eminence in Shadow. Bro acting like power moves are fashion. This is, it's actually crazy. This man does not get tired of property damage. And then after he blows up the tower, look at the old dude crawling out the thing like, oh. Dude, most anime villains die in obscurity. Ryuga is a biblical threat, okay? He will be remembered for generations, for millennia, as a biblical character. Taking down the Tower of Babel, parting the seas, blowing up cities, Man is a walking plague. Oh, never sign me up for this ever again. He needs a- After this man just destroyed the Tower of Babel. Next up- Don't say pre-watched. I literally could not have pre-watched. It could not be pre-watched. Literally can't be pre-watched. This video came out 11 minutes before I started watching it, okay? It came out while I was live. You cannot say pre-watched. Up was Easter Island. Bro decided to participate in another battle royale. And look, people ain't even fighting. Oh, They're just cowering and fearing. You really gonna count this? 
this as plus eight violations just because he's walking next to scared people? Bro, Kaiba is the richest man in the world, okay? All of Twitter counts as violations. It's in their draws because they know it's pointless. But one man decided to fight him, and that was Goku. <clears throat> I mean, AKA King. And I didn't mean Goku as a joke. No, look, that nigga is a Super <laughs> Saiyan. So you got to think to yourself, surely a Beyblading Super Saiyan can take him down right Bro, why is he so tiny though? Hey, man, shut your bitch ass up. Oh my god. Shut your ass up, bitch ass thing. Shut the He's just going around to every monument in the world where, ah, Easter Island, where there is the legendary Beyblade devil of the, the fucking hills, okay? The Super Saiyan Beyblader out here. I'm going to kick his ass too. I am going to make everyone worship me. And this cock is rated E for everyone, baby. Before I knock your fucking head off. Yeah, he booms this. Uh, I don't know what to say. This has cleared the whole verse literally so that he just walked around he he literally completed all the achievements there was only one that could actually take this man down and it was no simple mortal what? oh no what? this man's final battle is against a god no no right like no that's hyperbole yeah it's gotten to this point i mean no what? mortal can hang with the nigga so why wait, not what? a god so he starts what wait what huh this huh this is canon Man clears everyone in the entire verse, so he has to start Beyblading against gods? Fighting Rago, and guess who's dick-eating Rago? Hello there, Master Ayuga. Oh, As God, not him again. As you can see, I found another man to glaze. Oh, this dude's an epic dick sucker. Dick sucker extraordinaire. You look at his resume, and it's like, has sucked multiple dicks. Like, this nigga just hopped off dick and just went to bandwagon somebody else. So in this fight, Ryuga was going out with everything. Bro was just throwing nukes. But over time, bro started to get his ass beat. Oh, no. Nemesis just started destroying this man. Like, this is literally the first time you ever see this nigga with battle scars. And this man doji over here talking shit. Uh, dude, get, get out of here. Oh, yes. Look at you on the oh, ground like God. a worm. He's dick eating all you do, homie. Like, come on, man. My God. How, dude, how confident can you be to cackle and laugh when you're just sitting there? It's as someone's side piece. The hell did I ever dick eat you? But this man was not about to go out like no bitch. This man got up, had a legendary ass yap session, powered up right. and winning for his last attack. Is it just me or did this guy start off as a villain and end as a protagonist? Dude is ending as like the actual protagonist of Beyblade. End up having a massive clash and the shockwave ends up hitting this man Doji and this man falls to his death. like a stray bullet no no he just <laughs> bro said if i'm going out i'm taking you with me you fucking dick eater but sadly after that this man ryuga was cooked and bro is hit with just straight armageddon and ryuga no. takes the second loss of his career well i mean at least it was to a god of destruction Shit, that's crazy. What an insane ass character. The only reason why he lost is because God stole his power to use against him. I mean, that sounds pretty right. Dude, what an actual goat. Not gonna lie. I did not realize that this guy was anywhere remotely close to as insane. As and ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the Ryuga trial. And after a very long week, I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go to sleep. So, uh, appreciate y'all, you know what I'm that saying? Was a uh, great video, great series, great trial, great freaking introduction for me to this guy. I, I cannot believe, I didn't even know he was anywhere close to as bad as, as he was. I'll update the whole leaderboards and everything later. That's crazy, crazy. But until we meet again, I'm out this hoe. Great fucking video, man. Great, great video. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for uh, for being here. What a fantastic time. What a great video. CJ to champ, you absolutely killed it. Uh, your content is improving every single time, and you should be proud of what you make. And uh, if you ever want to suck Kaiba's dick, I know a guy that has tasted his meat in the past. Um, stay weird, fam. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Kick. Stay weird, fam.